Welcome to the capital Vietnam, Nam Ski. It's called uh, Hanoi or Hanoi in the local uh, accent. It's freezing here compared to um, Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. So I'm just navigating uh, traffic here, guys. It's uh, really cold, so it's the beginning of uh, December. And uh, yeah, it's very cold, so I'm wearing gloves and like uh, the heat tech. Heat tech. I want to show you guys something special uh, about Hanoi that only exists here, and that's for example the house to the left there. It's the embassy of uh, Singapore. It's a very nice looking house, white. Yeah, it just looks uh, pretty slick. Because I want to show you guys a little bit about the diplomatic. Uh, parts of town because in Saigon for example you have some consulates but they are usually in uh, you can see it to the left this is the most beautiful uh, embassy in my opinion so in Saigon you have uh, consulates but you don't have embassies because um, the capital of Vietnam is located here in the north it's very political here in Hanoi compared to Saigon and you will notice that because you have so many um, government uh, departments, government buildings everywhere and also embassies, you know. And this is for example, embassy of Iran to the right. Uh, they keep the streets uh, very clean and neat in this kind of area and this part of town is actually a big portion of the city center guys For example the building on the right there I'm not sure exactly which uh, governmental building but it's for sure a governmental building guys. So uh, this is a government car they usually carry the number 80 I'm not sure exactly why Yeah because the contrast in general from uh, Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City, it's a very stark contrast when it comes to everything, the food, the accent, uh, basically anything. Let's see if I can sneak. Sliding through Hanoi traffic. Uh, obviously, it's gonna look a little bit different, like the architecture is still very different, they have a lot of uh, Still a lot of buildings here, obviously it's uh, kind of like French style, you can see the windows there, the green windows, um, so it's a, it's a completely different uh, ambiance here in uh, Hanoi, government building to the left, but I want to show you the embassies, that's what's uh, pretty interesting in my opinion, so uh, let's just keep going straight and see where we'll end up, yeah so here you have the Iran, Embassy of Iran, the big flag there. I try and be a little bit discreet, but uh, yeah, you can see to the right there's a Ukraine flag, but it's not the Ukrainian embassy, it's the Czech, based on the flag there. Pretty nice looking uh, house. Here I cannot really see uh, Morocco, Morocco, yeah. Le Maroc. Here to the right there's some kind of uh, building as well but I don't see a flag so I cannot really identify but the embassy of Ukraine is right there straight ahead so you have a uh, 250 outside of the uh, Ukraine the embassy of Ukraine and you have a lot of the uh, blue uh, 80 plates and then at the front there there's a red plate I don't know if you guys can see but that's the military and I'm gonna turn left here to show oh they uh, blocked oh, I wanted to show you guys the Ho Chi Minh uh, like museum that's a book Wai Zhao which means the foreign minister of affairs so I cannot turn right there today which is a little bit unfortunate I like that area so let's just turn uh, left uh, right here instead we have some kind of embassy but I try and drive slow they have a Ukraine flag oh it's a lot of uh, police presence here guys so I don't know if they can see my camera I think it's perfectly allowed to just film the street but uh, of course it's 
I don't know. There's some uh, Slovakia, Slovakian, uh, <laughs> Slovakia. So uh, it's unfortunate they maybe have some kind of uh, thing going on, but uh, they closed off the uh, presidential house and the uh, Ho Chi Minh Museum. But it's very nice to drive there actually. It's like uh, it looks very good, very neat and stuff like that. But you can see heavy police presence all over the place there, guys. And you see some military there as well. It has some military car, some bike with Vietnam flag. Damn. Pretty interesting. Maybe I chose a good, uh, good time to drive around here. It's very, uh, yeah, very political. You can see they have some kind of event or something. Oh, there's a march. Probably like the, the soldiers, they do the uh, exchange or something like that. Uh, actually, one good thing about the uh, Ho Chi Minh uh, Museum, and correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I'm pretty sure nowadays there's a Thailand uh, embassy or residence, residence maybe of the, uh, of the uh, ambassador. You see some soldiers there. Uh, but one good thing guys, uh, back in the day, like uh, many years ago, uh, they had uh, different prices for the uh, entry ticket to these kind of like uh, museums and stuff like that. Because I remember for sure that a long time ago, it's many years ago, but they had like uh, one price for foreigner, one price for Vietnamese. Like, oh yeah, this is the museum. I've been here before, the um, Ho Chi Minh Museum. So I was here like two years ago and there you can see the NG, Wai Zhao is a diplomatic, diplomatic vehicle. Anyway guys, so I think that's a very good thing they removed the uh, different price, the pricing for foreigner versus Vietnamese. I'm not against if the locals get a free ticket or if they have a discount on price. That's pretty normal in some countries, like in India they do that too. but you have to show ID okay so now they removed it here which is good in my opinion they don't like racially different different uh, different shade of people but before the first time I was here many many years ago they actually did but they didn't check ID okay so they didn't check like oh are you a Vietnamese citizen or are you a resident of Hanoi they just looked at you and just assumed you're Vietnamese but I've, I've seen people sneak through even though they are not Vietnamese but they are just Asian you know so anyway that was before but nowadays they removed that so I, I have to give them props for that because that's uh, actually a very good thing because for example in Thailand the country I really like in many ways they still do that so they still have a Thai price but they don't check ID so I have for example a Vietnamese friend he used to live in uh, Thailand. He doesn't look Thai at all in any way. But they just waved him through, even though he didn't speak a word of Thai, just because he looked Asian. And he got in for free, and I had to pay like, I don't know how much, three, four hundred baht. But they removed that here, guys. So that's, uh, that's a very good thing. Guys, like, it's much more official here in every way. Like, in. in uh, in Saigon, you can kind of like get away. I feel you, you can get away with uh, more things than uh, in uh, Hanoi. I don't mean like get away with crimes or anything like that. I just mean like it's just less political. This is a very nice alley. I have to say, it looks very, very cool with the uh, trees. And you have the French architecture on both sides. Is there any embassy here or is this just. Uh, this is just local uh, Vietnamese governmental buildings. But yeah, in general, I think the Singaporean embassy is one of my favorites. It looks very good from the outside. It's like white and slick. For me, for example, because I speak the northern accent, so here it's like a little bit easier to uh, not adapt, but just like uh, when I talk to people, it's just uh, another type of uh, uh, Relation, not like that. 
For example, Hanoi is a very old city compared to uh, Saigon. Saigon is very new because the Vietnamese people, they used to live here in the north in the beginning. And then they gradually immigrated south. And to the right there, I think that's the parliament. I'm pretty sure that's the parliament of uh, Vietnam. Because Saigon is very new. That's why all the buildings in Saigon, they are, they are pretty new. I don't mean like new as in modern, but they, are, they don't have any buildings that are like ancient or old or anything like that. Because it used to be a part of the uh, Khmer, Khmer, Cambodian Empire not too long ago actually just a few hundred years ago and nowadays it's uh, part of the Vietnamese territory so um some kind of embassy or the Chi Chinese oh you had a lot of a lot of police uh, presence outside the Chinese embassy Yeah, you see more and more uh, tourists but they don't seem to be uh, cold I saw uh, some... <laughs> look at this guy I saw some uh, tourists, they were uh, wearing shorts and t-shirt and I'm covering up with uh, double jackets and uh, heat pack and uh, gloves and everything so um, I think it's because they, they have a picture about Vietnam in their head and that they check the uh, temperature because it's supposed to be like you know 19 degrees or something like that but 19 degrees here is different from 19 degrees in Europe oh, it's still uh, blocked there guys so unfortunately I cannot show you that part now Some police, maybe this is uh, they are escorting some someone. It's like a government. Wow, that's a pretty nice building. I wonder if it's a uh, embassy or. I'm curious, guys, if you're a tourist or if you have visited Vietnam before, if you have been to uh, Hanoi. Or Hanoi and you, if you've been to uh, and if you've been to uh, Ho Chi Minh City Saigon uh, what's your opinion on the general uh, differences and if you uh, are they playing some uh, it's kind of like badminton but they uh, kick it instead so yeah what's your opinion on uh, the general atmosphere uh, here in Hanoi compared to for example uh, Ho Chi Minh City because I think it's a huge difference in uh, every way. I mean, even the people, you can, you can in some cases even see like facial uh, features that they are a little bit different. Because you have more people, you have more people uh, in the north that uh, have uh, kind of like Han Chinese ancestry. And you can actually tell that uh, in, in many cases. And in the south, there's obviously more of a uh, Cambodian Khmer uh, influence. But yeah, I just wanted to make one video here in Hanoi right after I came here. Show you guys a little bit about the diplomatic, the high echelon area pretty nice lake here they have some lakes here in Hanoi it's uh, not bad the big one Ho Tây is actually uh, very nice to walk around there in the sunset afternoon it's a pretty nice building as well and then you have to the left I think it's uh, Romania Romania Embassy a lot of embassies on this street here guys Ukraine again I'm gonna turn left here nice wide streets so please share your opinions if you have any about uh, Hanoi and uh, 
whatever experience you have about it, the differences because there's a lot of differences but today I just wanted to talk about the diplomatic area here in uh, Hanoi uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video